pain followed 62-year-old Kenneth Herring after she witnessed him hit another car and drive off in 2019. The prosecution convinced a jury that she committed malice murder when she shot and killed him. Fox News' Rob DiRienzo was in the courtroom when that verdict was read. And Rob, what was the moment like? Hey, Courtney Russ, good evening to you both. Well, it was such a heavy moment as the jurors read off that verdict to the judge and to the entire courtroom. They found Hannah Payne guilty on all charges. With regard to count one as to the offense of malice murder, we, the jury, find the defendant guilty. 25-year-old Hannah Payne looked down and sobbed as a Clayton County jury found her guilty of chasing down and killing 62-year-old Kenneth Herring after he fled from a car accident she wasn't involved in. Outside the courtroom, Herring's siblings were emotional. The state did its job, and the jurors did their job. The jury said Payne was guilty of everything she was accused of, malice murder, felony murder, aggravated assault, false imprisonment, and having a gun while committing a felony. And when I heard the first verdict, I know we wasn't supposed to show sign, but tears start rolling down my face because at that moment, I felt a relief that came over. The five-day trial concluded Tuesday evening. Payne's lawyers argued she was trying to be a good Samaritan when she chased after Herring and cut him off. The jury didn't agree and said siding with the prosecutor, who says she was playing cop and ignored orders from a 911 operator not to pursue him. So it's bittersweet. I am happy that we now have justice for the family, but complete, to make this family complete, Mr. Herring's supposed to be here celebrating in a few days, Christmas. At the end of the hearing, the Clayton County Superior Court judge spoke the words the Herrings had waited so patiently to hear for four years. Ms. Payne, I'm going to remind you into the custody of the Sheriff's Department at this time. And Payne's loved ones were also in the courtroom. They were also very emotional. They declined to give a comment as they were leaving court. Her sentencing is scheduled for 10 a.m. on Friday. That's the latest from here. Live in Clayton County, Rob DiRienzo, Fox 5 News.